This is Don Stewart, the artist at artistchronicle.com. This is the end of our visit with four of the potters at Linden Street Artworks. Today they are at the 13th annual Triad Area Fall Pottery Festival. So let's check out the pots they fired in part one, and Jim Goodsell will show an aspiring young potter and us how to throw on the wheel. So you started I, this? I started this. I proposed it, and then I, I helped organize it. The idea was mine. My original plan had been to rent the building, but that didn't work out, so the uh, Parks and Recreations did it, and I basically explained to them what to do and why it was going to work. I've been teaching in the Art Alliance program. What happens is you get many people who become very good potters, but they don't have any way to sell the pottery, and they can't afford to become professional potters, but they're sort of part-time professional potters. And they needed an outlet. So for 13 years now, fall and spring, this has been their outlet. And it's been very productive. I mean, people now know that twice a year, you know, they have a goal, they can work up a body of work in their weekend time, and some of them in the pottery class. So this place is actually full of, of uh, students from Art Alliance, uh, or former students, and uh, quite a few from Rockingham Community College, where they have a good ceramics Almost everything on the table came out of that fire. So okay. this is a there's a khaki glaze here, a chino glaze, another chino glaze. This is the same khaki glaze, but it went on thicker, so it came out darker. This is a runny wood ash glaze there. That's pretty. Um, these are uh, temaku. What is that again? It's Temoku. Is that the Japanese yeah. that you were showing they me? They would say actually Tomoku, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, then there's, uh, this is a nice combination of that khaki and uh, green. Mm -hmm. This is what's called copper red. That's a little planter. ones that were fired. The fire. um, we're getting this nice red with a good reduction. This is an orange stone clay that uh, seems to work really well with reduction. It gives a real nice rich red. Mm -hmm. So That's gorgeous. Some of the pieces are on different clay, so it's the same glaze, but the glaze looks a little bit different in color because the clay is different. the glazes differently. Both pieces are reduced, um, so that also affects the color, of course, but same glaze, different clay, same kiln, will still give you a variety of results. Peterson, and you didn't have anything in this particular firing? No, the last firing I did. Most of these are uh, electric fire. I've got an electric kiln too. Okay. Well, I'd love to look at them too. Sure. I sort of like the combinations of glazes and overlapping different colors. Or, uh -huh. um, the other thing I like to do with a lot of pots is flute the edges. And if you get a glaze that breaks, it highlights a pattern in there. So uh -huh. this is blue turning brown on the change of angle. Here's a green pond that breaks, does the same kind of thing, so it highlights the pattern. This, in fact, is a piece that was fired in that uh, gas kiln. Tomoku, it's This old. was fired, okay. Yeah, well, or this, this was fired in there too. A lot of times the nice thing about the gas kiln is uh, with uh, you can reduce the oxygen, you get this reduction atmosphere inside the kiln, and what it does then is when the pots are, they go up to about 2400 degrees and you reduce the oxygen flow into the kiln and what it does is it draws oxygen out from the glaze and the clay and so you get a chemical change in the 
the, uh, the glaze, and so frequently you can get really interesting effects from that gas production atmosphere. Do, do you prefer gas to electric, or does it matter to you? You know, electric glazes have gotten so much better over the past couple decades that there isn't as much difference. It used to be clearly everybody would have preferred a gas kiln. Okay. I think it's more of a toss-up now. From the firing? No, oh, we've sold, we've got two pieces left on the side. Of the Is that right? That's yeah. fantastic. That's we've got, good. A, got a pitcher and a little bitty small dish, and that's all we got left. <laughs> that's the other one? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> well, let me look at your other work then. Hey Sage. Hi. <laughs> you do t-shirts? We do them together. Wow. Very nice. He likes art, that's for sure. Well explain to me, Sage, what you got going on with your with your pottery here. I have some masks. We have stamps and then we have other stuff to use okay. for it. It's for hanging on the wall. Okay, more and of a Usually it's kind of abstract, a couple eyes, a nose, a mouth. Mm -hmm. Maybe Some eyebrows. Oh, I see. I this see. one you could probably see a little better. Now that reminds me of kind of an owl. Somehow. That's what several people have said. So we yeah. decided, yes, yeah, it is an owl. I do masks too. And so he's always seen mine because I have a number of them hanging around the house. Mm -hmm. So that was a natural thing for him to go towards is doing masks. Of course. Plus it's easier to do than uh, throwing on the wheel as far as learning. Yeah, so that's one of Dad's. I've made a couple of pots, but then they went. Well, you, know, you ought to go over there where Goodsell was yeah. demonstrating. If it's not centered, then that's when it gets lopsided? Is that yeah, what it is? You can't do anything. That's the hardest thing to learn. We'll, we'll get to this point. There. Okay, now get your elbows on your legs. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to pinch with your left hand. Okay, we're going to go to the bottom. Take a pinch. Kind of straight out. As far down as you can go. Good. You're excellent. You've done a good job. You've just about, it's about as far as we want to go. So I'm going to cut off a little of this clay here. Then we'll take this and we'll turn it into a bowl. This one. Just use the stick end of this. Just make it bend down. There you go. Keep going down. Excellent. Very good. I think we got it. That one's not lopsided. You did it. <laughs>